Most of y'all know by now that I've done quite a bit of traveling in my 23 years. I've traveled to 13 countries on four different continents. I've lived in Dublin, Ireland for a college semester, and I've lived in Melbourne, Australia for five months during my gap year during college. I've seen a lot. I've learned a lot. I've lived a lot. I have ridiculous memories, like the time my travel buddy Will bled all over our hotel room in Malaysia because he had gotten bit by a leech, or the time I was swimming in the ocean in Thailand when all of a sudden a wave washed way up to shore and began to wash all my things into the water because Will was only in self-preservation mode and attempted to save exactly zero of my belongings. My mouth still tingles at the memory of Will and I eating the spiciest curry I have ever tasted at a restaurant in Koh Phi Phi. We cried from the spice as we ate and talked all about life. I remember laying down in my top bunk in a hostel in Tasmania when all of a sudden Will jumped out of his bottom bunk, hit his head, then hollered that Ariana Grande had released Thank You Next. A truly iconic moment. However, the most meaningful moments for me have been centered around faith. When I lived in Ireland, all of my American roommates had not grown up in a religious household. So, when Easter came around, my dad happened to be visiting, and together we cooked up a feast to celebrate Easter, which is something none of them had ever done before. When we all visited Rome together, I convinced them to come with me to tour the Vatican. I'll never forget the splendor and timelessness that the walls of the Vatican held. We were all in awe as we stepped into St. Peter's Basilica, which is, of course, the most gorgeous cathedral I have ever been to. I felt that familiar tingle down my spine and I knew it was the Holy Spirit inside me, reminding me that even in these far off lands, God is here with me. When I visited London during that semester, I split off from my group and toured St. Paul's Cathedral. After walking around for a while, I climbed the countless stairs to the top of the dome, you're able to go outside and look down on the gorgeous London skyline. And once again, I felt that presence. It's my favorite memory of all time. Just alone with God on top of a 345 year old church in my favorite city. As Will and I traveled through Southeast Asia, we visited many houses of worship, from Christian to Islamic to Buddhist. Even as I wore a robe and hijab in a mosque in Malaysia, I felt God with me. I saw the beauty and peacefulness of the religions I was learning so much about, and it made me appreciate my own faith so much more. We have a lot to learn from other religions. I felt called to pray more as I learned about the different Muslim prayer times. I felt called to revere my God more as I sat in a temple in Bangkok. I look back on these memories with such fondness, and I know that whenever this craziness is all over, I'll get back to traveling near and far. But what I value the most at this time, at the times when I was far, far away, is the community that MDUMC brings. Whenever I'm gone, I miss this place. I miss the people. I miss you guys. Right now, we can't gather together, and that really stinks. But the community is still here. We're coming to you, wherever you may be. I know all about being out of my comfort zone, and this is no different. Thank God that we have this gift of togetherness, even in unfamiliar times. I hope to see you guys soon. Stay safe and God bless.